Welcome, in front of me is a Redmi 13 and today I will show you how we can go through the setup process of this device. So when you boot it up the very first time you should be presented with the same screen as you can see for me and obviously there is just one thing to do which is press on the arrow and then from the list find your desired language. I'll be choosing English here. We can go to the next page, which allows us to choose our region, which is select, selected a correct one. So I'm just going to go to the next page. And here we have some terms and conditions. So we can tap on both of these to read exactly what you are agreeing to. And then at the end of the day, you will need to just check the box, even if you don't want to, let's be honest, without checking it. You have no way of finishing up the setup. So check the box, go to the next page. And here you can insert your SIM card. Now. You can insert your SIM card at any page throughout the entire setup, but the reason it shows up right now is because SIM card uh, is one of the ways you can access network through mobile network. The other page, uh, if you don't want to insert your SIM card, will be the Wi-Fi connection page. There we go. And this is the second way you can connect to network, which allows you to sign into your Google account, set date and time correctly, and restore the device from a backup. Now, if you choose to skip all of those or those two, um, then number one, Google login page will not show up throughout the setup process. Date and time might not be set correctly, and you won't have the option to restore your uh, device's uh, backed up data. Now, next page, we have Google services and we have things like location scanning and sending user diagnostic data. And this is from Google. So let's be honest, uh, turning those off probably does absolutely nothing for all we know. So I'm just going to go to the next page and here we can select some kind of screen lock. Now we have three different methods of protecting our phone. Uh, so under the uh, only screen lock, you have the option to select pin pattern or password. Then you have fingerprint and also face unlock under that. Now, if you're planning to use any of these two, you will always be required to choose a physical screen lock like pin pattern or password. The reason for that is, is because if something would happen to your biometrics, like your face or your fingerprint, uh, you would lose access to your device till those biometrics basically, let's just say heal. Um, and if the device afterwards doesn't recognize you to have literally no way of accessing your phone. So that would leave you with pen pattern and password, which doesn't really change based on those circumstances. And additionally, you don't need to protect your device at all. You can also skip it. And here we have some basic settings. Now these will be from Xiaomi. And we have a couple of things that look similar, like the location, which we already had with the Google. Uh, we have also send user and diagnostic data, uh, automatic system updates, personalized aids, uh, ads, I mean, uh, user experience programs, and uh, some other things. Now out of this entire list, the only thing that I recommend changing uh, on regardless is the personalized ads. Uh, and also one of those stupid bullshit things, it, it pops up with this little window that it's such a great feature and please don't turn it off. And then we also use reverse psychology. So we kind of flip the buttons over, highlighted the blue one uh, that would usually confirm your decisions by just confirming that you just keep it on because there you go. That's uh, that's Xiaomi for you. So make sure you select the turn off option right here to actually turn that garbage off. Now, for people that are wondering what this is, it's basically a stupidly intrusive option that just kind of listens to, to you. So it uses microphones, your phone, uh, checks what you search for, um, and then gives you ads based on those things. So let's be honest, any kind of thing that starts off with the, my phone is listening to me using microphones is a no bueno thing, no matter what follows up afterwards. So yeah, turn that garbage off and then we can go to the next page. There we go. Here you can choose your font of your device. Going back to my, you know, more docile self. Um, so yeah, we can choose our uh, font right here. We have two different options. Now, later on, if you download more fonts, um, once the device obviously is set up, you can choose those instead. I'm going to keep it the default one. Then we have set up your lock screen. So this is a wallpaper carousel. Uh, now here we have the better alternate options that it shows you on the carousel of wallpapers. Um, but let's be honest, I personally would probably not recommend this. Uh, if you want to have some kind of flair every time you press on your power button and you're on your lock screen to show you something new that you didn't see, then you can utilize this. But uh, the wallpapers that you're seeing right here as an example with the cat beach and, and just uh, mountains, um, that's or well, volcano, I guess, in this case, um, those are the kind of like optimal wallpapers that you will see. But you will see throughout the carousel things like random ass people that you don't know 
maybe celebrities for all I know, uh, luggages, uh, cars, just random things sometimes, which don't really might be a good photo, but not really good as a wallpaper. Uh, specifically when it's just some random ass people. Why would I want to have a picture of a f someone that I don't know on my phone as a wallpaper? So yeah, I will be skipping that. Now, next we have uh, select default launcher. Now we have two different options and the default one would be the app drawer, not the classic one. Um, so that's what you typically have on Android, the app drawer. Uh, if you want the classic uh, classic style, that's classic for iPhones. This isn't iPhone, this is Android. So yeah, um, not sure why they're trying so hard, but um, if you like all your apps smack in the middle of your home screen, then I guess go with the classic. If you like to have a little bit more organization on your device, then go with the app drawer. And this looks like it finishes up the setup. Now we do need to wait a little bit because it's preparing system because apparently it didn't have enough time to do that before. Finally, let's go. Oh, there we go. So, with that being said, hopefully you found this video helpful, and if you did, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.